Hello, welcome to our next section, Data Sources. In this section, we will look at ODBC and OLEDB drivers, along with examples on extracting data. Then we will move ahead to query the database and load a table file. Finally, we will dive into using QVD and QVX files. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with using ODBC and OLEDB drivers. In this video, we have a brief introduction to ODBC, OLEDB, and other custom data sources. We can think of ODBC and OLEDB as query translators that enable communication between an application and the DBMS. Since they have been in use for a long time, almost all major DBMS vendors provide access via ODBC or OLEDB drivers, or both. When you use a printer, it requires you to install a driver on your computer so that the documents you send to print can be received and printed properly. The same is true with DBMS drivers. You need to install the corresponding driver on the machine you will be sending queries from in order for them to be accurately translated and properly processed by the DBMS, which will in turn respond to it by sending the requested set of data. OLEDB and ODBC are the most common types of connectivity you will find in corporate environments. However, there are certain data sources that cannot be accessed naturally via any of these standards. For these few scenarios, ClickView provides the ability to integrate what are called custom data sources, extract data from them, and manipulate it like any other source. Here are a few of the commonly used custom data sources listed on your screen. Click Data Market mainly contains data on currencies, stocks, demographics, economy, weather, and company information. Data Market is offered on a subscription basis, but also has a free tier with some high level information. Another type of data source you will find consists of the most common table files, such as Excel, CSV, TXT, XML, or even HTML. For these types of data sources, one requirement would be that their content is in a readable, understandable structure. It will be easier to extract data from them if they are constructed in the form of a traditional table, that is, only rows and columns. However, sometimes these files could contain extra information that is not actually part of the core table, and therefore additional transformations via script are required. The ability to read table files is especially useful when we want to mix information from the DBMS and data generated by the business user that might not be stored in a database. Examples include budget forecasts, external market indicators, and so on. That's all for this video. 